it's a different day same shaker cup that i'm using to prop up my camera so let's get straight to it all right let's get straight to it what's up today my wonderful family thank y'all for tuning in for another video i really appreciate it you know I appreciate you tuning in. Listen, what I want to talk to you about today is a simple fact that, listen, you are in trouble if you do this. You're in trouble if you do this. Now, you may ask me right off the bat, like, I'm in trouble if I do what? Ain't you going to tell me that? We're about to get right to it. Let me read you the word, all right? You are in trouble if you do this. Mark my words, all right? You're in trouble. The Bible says, listen, in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths, okay? So the Bible says... To trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, okay? So what I want to talk to you about is the simple fact that you are in trouble if you lean on your own understanding. Right? The Bible also says that too much knowledge will puff you up. In other words, you may think that you have everything figured out and you may be like, man, I don't need God. I mean, what would I need God for? I got all the money, you know? What would I need God for? Listen, that is a tactic of the devil. You see what I'm saying? That is a tactic of the enemy. If the enemy can manipulate your mind... Right. In other words, if let's just say you the man, you know, you you the breadwinner, you know what I mean, or your household or whatever you want to call it. If the devil can get you, then he got the whole family because you know, if 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 the man is out of place, then the woman is misplaced, and then the children are all over the place. In other words, if the devil can take out the head, then he got the whole household. You know, so you really have to listen. That's how the devil fell because of pride. You know, you 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 elect and select based on your own intellect. You know, instead of leaning on God's word, you choose to lean on your own understanding. So listen, I just want to encourage you today. Do not lean on your own understanding. The smartest man in the world is the man who knows that he does not know it all. Now, you may say, well, how is that the smartest man in the world? The smartest man in the world is the, is the man that knows he doesn't know it all. Because, guess what? If he knows that he does not know it all, he continues to grow and seek more knowledge and, and continue to seek God. Right. But once you think that you know it all, once you feel like that you have already arrived, you're in a dangerous place because you stop growing. You get complacent. You get cocky. You, you, you then turn yourself to your own your own counterfeit God. Many people say, well, you know, I don't, I don't go to church. I don't, I don't want to read the word. I don't want to do. It. So once you do that, you start worshiping your own self. You may say, I don't worship no devil. I just don't go to church. I just I just don't want to read my Bible. I just don't want nothing to do with God, but I ain't worshiping the devil. Listen, if you're not worshiping God, then you're worshiping the devil. You may say, I ain't worshiping the devil, though. Well, you worshiping yourself is the same thing as worshiping uh, the devil. Because what did the Lord say? The Lord said, you should have no other gods before me. You can make your own self into a counterfeit God. Okay? You got to be careful out here, man. This is a spirit world. This is a spirit world. All right? So you better be careful out here, man. You better be careful. I'm talking to you watching this video. Lean not on your own understanding. Listen, you may watch this video. You may you you may say, well, you just think you know everything. You just think, you, listen, I don't know nothing. You know what I mean? Listen, my job is easy. You know, what I do is easy because I just depend on the Lord to give me the word. You know what I mean? I hit the camera and I just shoot. You see what I'm saying? And, and and I rely on the Holy Spirit to give me the words. Because listen, I don't have to know it all. I just need to know the one who knows it all. In other words, it's a good day for me, man. You know what I mean? I'm happy because, listen, I'm not the head football coach. I'm just a little player on the field. It's easy because, you know, God is the head. See, if I try to be the head, then I got problems because I try to run my whole life. But no, whenever I humble myself and I, and I know that God is running the show, it's joyful for me. You see what I'm saying? Because I ain't got all this pressure on me. I, I ain't trying to deal with all the stresses of the world, all the problems. No, I give it all to God. The Bible tells you, listen, cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. So God doesn't want you burdened. Walking around stress, struggle, and strain, just, just being bitter to everybody. No, you cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. It's in his word, man. You can't just take your Bible and just read it and be like, I, I did my three chapters for the day. You know, I'm a beast, man. I, I be in my word. I be, but the question is, do you live it? Take one of them scriptures and just apply it and watch how your life change. You don't have to know it all. You just need to know the one who knows it all. And that's Jesus Christ. I love you. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Listen, do me a quick favor. Hit the subscribe button so we can stay connected. I will talk to you tomorrow. Remember, you ain't got to know it all, man. You ain't got to know it all.